good. Never fa Never fails. Every time I want to record a video. Always. That's what happens when you live to down next to downtown. Hello, and thanks for coming back. Why did I just do all this? I don't know. So anyhow, so today's video, I wanted to do another eye tutorial video since I actually had so much fun doing the one before this video. Now, if you haven't seen that video, I'll definitely include the link below in the description field. It, 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 that word wouldn't come out. Anyways, in the description field. So if you want to check that one out, you can definitely do so as well. So as I was going through and deciding which how I was going to use. I definitely wanted to try something that is going to take me out of my comfort zone in the sense of colors and how I'm going to use those colors. So I'm like, okay, what am I going to use? What am I going to use? And then I saw this little tiny box I'm like, wait a second here. Wasn't that a really awkward box? Meaning like the colors inside. And wasn't there like a big old backlash to that particular palette. Now you're wondering what palette is he talking about and what backlash is he referring to? Well, I'm talking about the Laura Lee, is it coming up? The Laura Lee Party Animal um, palette that actually was um, put in some of our BoxyCharm um, shipments. I can't remember for what month. Um, I believe this is like a year ago. I believe so, right? I have no clue anymore. Anyhow, so I don't want to go through the whole spiel about exactly why it became a backlash for Laura Lee. It's just something that she said in terms of one of her Twitter comments many years back that it actually kind of came back out into the public and basically kind of shown a different side of her personality. Now, that may have happened back then, and now people are looking at it as now. You know what? People do grow. People change. But anyways, that's another story. If you don't know anything about that Laura Lee scandalous situation, go ahead and Google it. YouTube it. Trust me, you'll find the backstory. So let's just not get into it. But the reason why I want to use it, because the colors in here are actually really gorgeous. I'm like, wait a second. I've never swatched this. I've never used it. I actually have other products from Laura Lee, but I've never actually used any of them. So I don't even know if her products even apply well, if they're blendable, how well the pigments are, any of that. Um, but yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so I was able to go ahead and prime both of my eyes, of course, and then do my eyebrows as well. Um, yeah, my eyebrows are okay. They just don't look identical. Well, you know, you know what? That's one thing I can never get are my eyebrows and eyeliner. Like those two kill me. Like seriously, I struggle. But I am getting a little bit more better um, applying my eyebrows um, because yeah, this one right here it is not matching to this one. I like this one more than this one. Anyways, this is an eyeshadow tutorial. What am I talking about my eyebrows for? That's for another video. <laughs> Anyways, so as I mentioned, I'm gonna go into this particular palette right here. I've never used it, never swatched it. Even the paper plastic is still in here. Yeah, um, but the, the colors in here are completely gorgeous though. I mean, look, like the name itself, Party Animal, literally it really does live up to the colors in here. I mean, they're gorgeous. They really, really are. It's just unfortunate that the situation had occurred during the time period of the whole backlash. So I, I just honestly do think that how do we separate the cosmetic brand from the person, but I know that's very difficult to do. Anyhow, why am I going into the story again? This is completely, we're talking about an eyeshadow tutorial. We're not talking about the person behind the brand, but that's for another video, obviously. But again, just YouTube it. YouTube, you are watching YouTube. Just look up YouTube videos about the controversy that took place a year or however long ago. And then you'll see what I'm talking about. If you don't, if you weren't around YouTube and the whole fiasco with the influencers and makeup brands and blah, 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 you missed a lot. Let's just put it that way. All right. Anyhow. Okay. So let's just go ahead and just go with the flow here. We're going to go into, and I'm picking up, we'll go into the orange colored drinks. 
that sound real hood but let's just get into that color and then we'll use that as the first shade again i don't even know what whoa there's a lot of fallout i have no clue where i'm going with this so if it looks like a hot mess towards the end of the video it's not my fault it's not my fault all right so let's go ahead and just pack it on first um hmm well, there's color there. Huh. Can you see that? It's very light. Okay. I mean, there's there's color there. Don't get me wrong. I guess it's good that the color itself is not too strong and not too bold. And what I mean by that, because when you look at it in the pan, um, again, the color sh shade, the shade drinks, it looks like it's going to be dark. But it's not. I mean, from here, me looking at it, it looks like a dark, rich orange color. But when you apply it, it isn't that dark. But I guess in a way that's pretty good. So this way it is obviously, it's manageable in terms of the pigment. And you can keep adding on to the color that you want to achieve of, in the sense of how boldness of the orange that you're looking to get. So I went in there one more time. Yeah definitely much better now so you just keep finessing it then there's not a big issue i mean i'm not going to say i'm not happy with it but i can definitely say it's going to take you a little bit a little bit more finessing just to get where you're trying to go with this where i'm going with this i don't know so that's okay let's just keep going Okay, so I was able to go ahead and finish this particular eyelid just with the first color that I'm going to use. At least I think it's the only color. Well, only first color. Where am I going? Anyways, just be quiet, Carlos. Well, I can't be quiet because then this video won't go anywhere. Anyhow, so, I mean, the color is there. The pigment is there. So it isn't like taking like a well-known brand in the sense of like Anastasia Beverly Hills or Too Faced where you're going to get that pigment right away. There, there's automatically that punch. Where here, I did have to finesse it a little bit in the sense of, of adding on to get the dark rich color where you notice in the, in the corner inner eye it's more lighter and the outer eye is a little bit more darker. And the reason for that is because I went back in a few more times just to give it a more of a richer orange color tone to that, which I'm okay with. And the reason why I'm okay with that is because then I don't have to worry about like, oh my God, there's so much product on the brush. It automatically went onto the eyelid. Now I got to work it out. Now I got a mess to deal with. No, um, there is slightly fallout, but not a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye as well. And then we'll come up with a game plan as to what's the next color we're going to use. Okay, so I was able to go ahead and finish both eyes. I'm actually liking the fact how well the orange did blend in the sense of like if you notice from the outer edge of both eyes they are a little bit more darker comparison to the inner of the eye where it's nice soft subtle orange I meaning it's still there same color um so no problems right there we're going to go into the second shade what i'm going to do and i'm hoping i can achieve this well enough because this is going to actually be my first time ever attempting this i want to cut a crease and I'm gonna use karaoke, like this nice rich blue that's right there. I'm gonna use that within the inner eyelid itself and see where I go with this. Fingers crossed, this doesn't come out looking like a freaking hot mess. But if it does, again, it's not my fault. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and hopefully I don't screw this up, but I'm going to just follow the crease line and put some more primer just so that this blue has some somewhere to stick to. And I'm only gonna do the, just the whole bottom lid where it creases. Again, if it's not cute, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I'm gonna go into karaoke, into this rich blue right here. And then I'm just gonna put it on top do it one more time. Um, 
I don't know what I just did that for. I'm gonna go on top of the prime lid and see how this turns out. Hopefully, um, it doesn't look too bad. I keep moving my eye and then the, the, um, the primer was moving. Ding it, that's all right. Hmm. You see that? Okay. There's pigment there. But it's not going on my eye. Even okay, there it goes. Now you see that it's weird. Didn't want to do it before. Okay, I'm not sure why that is. Whoa, there is pigment. I'm not sure exactly what it happened the first time, but that blue is crazy. All right, let me go ahead and finish this, and then we'll be right back. Okay, so I was able to go ahead and apply that blue shade onto my eyes. So what I ended up doing, and the reason why I did this, I ended up blending it out slightly instead of keeping the cut crease. And the reason why I ended up blending it out is because for some odd reason, I'm thinking it's because when I close my eyelid, the eye primer started to smear around so that some of the blue started to kind of cross over which was fine, so I figured, okay, let me figure out a way to correct this mistake that I obviously made. So what I ended up doing is just blending it out, and I'm actually liking the way it came out. Now, I did go into another shade that's not in this particular palette. What I end up doing, just to kind of keep the pattern, not the pattern, the cohesiveness with the brand, I went ahead and picked out um, this other, it's not actually a palette, they're little um, singles, um, a while back, she actually had this on her website that you can buy all her singles, including this magnetic um, carrying case. So I ended up purchasing that. I can't remember how much it was. It was like 50 bucks or anything like that. And the shade that I went into is this particular one right here. And I put that one, it actually has a, like a shimmer to it. Hopefully I can take it out. Um, it does have a shimmer to it. So I was able to use that on top of it. Now this particular shade is called Cobalt cat and the names are on the back so, oops there you go so that is, this one is actually like a really nice rich really rich blue but with some glitter in it so hopefully it is picking up so i'm going to go ahead into the next eye and i'm going to finish that as well and then we'll see how this looks all together if we need to add something else to it or what we think so far so far i'm actually really liking it uh the two shades I didn't necessarily expect them to go together, but they work. They do. But yeah, let's just get finish this other eye and then we'll we'll keep going. Okay, so I was able to go ahead and finish both the eyes. So what I end up doing is adding some mascara, adding a liquid eyeliner. So actually it's my very first time ever applying liquid eyeliner to my eyes. Um, I was trying to give it a nice kind of like a cat eye appearance. Um, they're not completely identical. Uh, let me just say, like, this eye came out pretty nice. I'm okay with it. This eye I actually had to struggle a little bit, so I had to finesse it and then clean it up. I did darken my eyebrows a little bit more because when I was looking at the, my eyes, I'm like, I look a little gothic here. I mean, like, I'm not mad at it, but the the colors, this, this like, cohesive, like, the storyline that I'm going with right now with just these two shades, well, actually three, are pretty nice i'm um, like okay like i'm living for it like i don't know what do you guys think do you think like this particular like look are you living for you are living for it are you liking it let's put it that way or do you hate it you know either way leave a comment below let me know your thoughts and opinions but again the two palettes that I went in, well, this is not a palette, it's just singles, but all of the products that I basically use in terms of eyeshadow, all from Laura Lee Cosmetics. So I definitely use, not definitely, I did use, I use the Animal, Animal, wait, <sighs> slow your row, slow your row, Carlos. I use the Party Animal in the two shades that I use, I once again, was Dranks, Dranks, Ghetto, 
but that's okay because you know I'm ghetto too. Anyways, and then I use um, karaoke. So hopefully those are picking up. Those are the two shades that I use from this particular palette. And just to bring out the blue and to have it pop a little bit more, hopefully it's popping on your end. If not, make some popcorn. But the next shade that I went into were her singles. And that was the shade right here, which is Cobalt Cat. Um, just right on top of the other blue and let me tell you the colors are really nice they really really are um, again there wasn't a lot of fallout there was some but there was none left underneath my eyes so that's a good thing in terms of the pigment the pigment is there on both of the sh or all three shadows that I use you just need to do a little bit more finessing which is perfectly fine this way you're not getting like a big old glob of like pigment and then you're having to work it out no by no means this is something that you can work and finesse it to get it to your own liking and to the color tone that you're trying to achieve so overall i don't i don't like i mean i don't i would say i don't like them i do like them i wouldn't say they're canceled they're by all means these these are actually pretty good but yeah, I mean, if you have the opportunity, you know, definitely check on her website. She has a lot of um, sales that go on pretty frequently. So definitely check out these palettes. Pick one up if you don't already have them. The singles, I know from time to time, they do go on sale for like five bucks. So they're pretty reasonable. Um, but other than that, I mean, what do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you hate it? I mean, if you like it, great leave a thumbs up if you hate it leave a thumbs up <laughs> anyhow just leave a comment below and if you haven't already and if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell because you know why because if you hit the notification bell you automatically be alerted of new videos that i upload to my channel but anyways until then make sure you all brush your teeth watch the kulo and subscribe bye now